There we see the tail of the tape for the challenger, Dionisio Gustavo, three and one record here at Karate Combat. That only loss, of course, to the champion, Joshua Koyhagen. The man who walks the walk and talks the talk, our current welterweight champion, Joshua Quayhagen from Leesville, Louisiana, coming off the back of two KO knockouts in his previous two appearances here. Of course, he got that belt against Jerome Brown last time out. Fighters, enter the pit. Yeah. So final instructions from our referee, Mark Goddard here as our fighters get set for the first of five three-minute rounds. Of course, their previous bout was only under three three-minute rounds, so the championship rounds all to play for here. Ready. Okay, I just saw that uh, Gustavo has a five-inch reach advantage in his hands, but the Quayhagen has 13-inch advantage in his legs. Yeah, clear reach advantage, uh, or taller fighter, should I say. For Quay Hagen, who's staying on the outside here. Very smart. Yeah, he had a lot of MMA experience previously, but he's really found his home here at Karate Combat. Looked great against Jerome Brown, and of course, before that, knocking out Raider Masudi. Incidentally, though, Denisa Gustavo's last match, he also knocked out Raider Masudi. Mm -mm. I love it. Oh, Gustavo yeah, a jab. trying to cover a lot of distance with that jab. Quay Hagen staying composed though. You see that golden belt wrapped around his waist, signifying that he is our current champion. Easy block of the high kick, but nice follow up from the man from the Dominican Republic. Yep, he did it, uh, he did it, pull it through the kick. Whoa, nice left hook. There we go again with the reflexes from uh, Gustavo, man. That guy, crazy reflexes. Gustavo, his, his entire life fully embroiled. Oh, oh, he's oh got him. and it's a he big shot. With a strike. Quay Hagen knocked back down to the ground. He finds some form of guard, though. And Gustavo is not able to flurry. That shot came out of nowhere. Wow, that connected. Is he going to take the risk because it's a five-round fight? Yeah, Gustavo firing on all cylinders straight away here. And Quay Hagen coming forward, and he is cut. Our champion with some blood running down the left-hand oh, side of his face. He eats another couple of shots. Yep, he's not fully back, you can tell. There's a lot of acting going on yeah, he's trying at Quayhagen right now. Trying to appear to stay composed, but you see easy targets for Gustavo as he finds the body, goes up top again. Some redness on the midsection of Quayhagen. But it's very nice, very smart, you know, in this moment to go for the body. You know, that, that, that tells you something about the fighter is in control. Yeah, Gustavo... Mike tells you, hit the head. So. Yeah, that's all right. Gustavo found the jab at home there. Quayhagen perhaps a bit more recovered now. Anxious moments for him, to be fair. I think Gustavo has the biggest traps on his back. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> quite, a, quite a physique on Dionisio Gustavo. Clearly in shape for this one. Oh, again, connected. Stiff jab there. And that is a long, long jab, isn't and it? Another one. And that was not a stiff one, but it connected again. Yeah, Quay Hagen is still not there. No, he's pushing forward, throwing his combinations, but he definitely looks flustered. And you can really see the signs of wear already in his body as we approach the final 15 seconds of our first round. But he's been in this position before many times. Oh, absolutely. There's, there's no quit in him. He, you know, he's going to recompose. He's going to come back into it. There's still four rounds left to go as we close out the first round here. Nice show of respect, touch of gloves. Wow. And they head back to their corners. Let's see if we can get a shot closer up in the corner of the face of... Josh Quayhagen. Let's take a look at some of the replays here, Bass, and they were good shots from yeah. Dionisio Gustavo. Wow, okay. I was wrong. He did pull it through. <laughs> so this was the knockdown we saw, and it was oh, a clean oh, right. As he on the button. Closed the distance, yeah. Yeah, you saw the whiplash. Quay Hagen threw some good shots of his own, though, you see there, finding his way in. Does stay a little bit open when he throws those flurries, though. And there we see our current champ in his corner giving a thumbs up to his brother. Still very much in this one. They've been through some turmoil over the last six months. 
one of the large hurricanes in the US, absolutely obliterating their home gym, having to restart that business from scratch. But he shows gloves up, he's ready to go, the cut's been worked on. Mark Goddard gets us underway here for our second of five rounds, touch of gloves. And Dinizio Gustavo looking to build on the good work he did in round number one. Now let's see. Whoa, that was inside, that was above the knee. Deniso Gustavo lining up, trying to look for that perfect moment to strike again. Trying to counter as Quayhagen closes in. Yeah, he looks like he's, he's back in action now. He looks much fresher. You see, Quayhagen perhaps looking a little bit more flat-footed now. Although Gustavo is fairly stoic on his feet himself. That was nice. The, the accolades for Gustavo in the world of, of points karate, fairly significant. Three medals at the Pan American Championships, three times medalist at the Pan Am Games, Central American Games. And of course, he's now coaching the Olympic team ready for Tokyo 2021. And his wife is on the team. His wife is on the team, that is true. That's got to be quite an interesting dynamic. Yeah, if you're a robber, you want to rob that couple. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem. Absolutely not. Quay Hagen getting set in the middle again, trying to throw oh. on the inside, but looking perhaps a little bit mechanical coming forward. Yep, it was almost like he got hit there in the flurry, maybe. I'd like to see that jab more from Gustavo. Really good when he used it earlier, but he's firing it from a very low position on the hip there. Are you surprised, Pass? We haven't seen more kicks from these two? Yeah, it's, in, uh, it's a boxing contest almost. There we go, one. Yeah, or the sweep. Cut kick up the inside. Again, nice Gustavo looking at Yeah, long right hand jab. We're into the final minute of round number two here. We know that Josh Quayhagen can put someone away with one shot. It's never over until it's over. A lot of time left to work. Yes, game plan was putting in a lot of feints there. Swinging in the From pocket here from Quay Hagen, but I think uh, when he got rocked, that game plan went out the window for a moment. That kick up the open side from Gustavo to close the distance there was excellent. Found his way right into the pocket. We've got about 20 seconds left on the clock here and just gets a touch on the face with a lead hand. Great timing again. Nice comeback there from Quay Hagen. Final 10 seconds. Who's going to get the last flurry here? And it's a big shot from Gustavo. Quayhagen comes forward, lands with a left, throws the kick combination. Ha, jumped up the wall. <laughs> Very nice. Well, that's what it's there for. Use it to get out of trouble, throw a strike. Whatever you want to do as they head back to their corners. Round number two is in the books. Let's take a look at some of the replays here. This was an exchange in the clinch early on. We haven't seen too many leg kicks from Quay Hagen, but there's a good one. And that was a hard calf. one with the shin. Beautiful liver kick. That's the left kick to the body. Yeah, and here's a lovely oh. jab. Just really came forward and used the momentum of his body rather than rather than his arm. And there's a look at the challenger, Denisio Gustavo, in his corner. Seems like any other day. Very calm, very composed. Yeah, and you see his wife in the corner there. The one who's on the Olympic team. Yep, not breathing heavy at all. He did actually say he felt that, that Koi Hagen was affected by fatigue in previous fights, so he was going to look to capitalize on that. By contrast, Josh Koi Hagen has made it very clear, at least he's begged the referees, let me die in that pit. I can assure you we're not going to let that happen, but the sentiment is certainly there. So Quay Hagen measuring unorthodox stance, Very good nice. kick up the outside and acknowledged by Gustavo. And it's always that thing, isn't it, Bass? If you, you kind of nod your head and say, yeah, you landed. It, that means you kind of get hit. Yeah, it means you felt it. 
Yeah, left hook, right kick. Oh, walked in on that straight punch again. Yeah, Gustavo doing a good job with that straight punch and Koi Hagen closing the distance here. Gustavo fires back. Koi Hagen perhaps just needing a little bit more, a little bit more pop. Again, in the middle of the, the pit here, trading shots. Gustavo has been very content to stay on the outside. And Quay Hagen's throwing, but... He's connected with those kicks, though. Yeah, the, the kicks are helping. Do damage. We just need him to follow up with the strikes off the back of them. Yep. As you always say, Bass, the single shots, never, never that effective. A bit telegraphed, perhaps. And looking to fire out that jab now. Gustavo's so good with the lean back. Keeps his feet planted, leans the head back. You know, you miss by an inch, you miss by a mile. Koi <laughs> Hagen again, trying to press the action, trying to come forward. He knows how much our judges here value aggression. And you, I can actually see the corner oh. of Gustavo calling for him to come forward. Yeah, because Koi Hagen is doing a much better job now. And again, he's letting that kick. A few seconds ago, he did it as well. You know, it can incapacitate that leg. Into the final 50 seconds of round number three here. Of course, this is where the fight would have ended last time these two met in the pit. It's not going to this time. We've got two more three-minute rounds coming their way. Oh, yes, it's coming. And Koi Hagen starting to build that tempo now. I think he knows that this golden belt is very thoroughly on the line. And again, that jab. Oh, that was nice. Missing with the hook, make it into a back kick. Yeah, and I think he, he really used the momentum there. He knew he'd missed the, the, that overhand punch from the start. Final 10 second clacker comes in. Gustavo lands a, a nice left. Koi Hagen again pressing forward. So much aggression from the American. And we end round number three. I would say now Quay Hagen won this round. Very so close. Two to one, I would say. Yeah, much better round for Quay Hagen. That cut has opened up again as we see him jump back up to the corner. And this is where the conditioning is really going to start paying off. Bass, talk us through the replays here. The jab of Gustavo again landing. Boom. Wow, such a great timing. There's that gig. And that was borderline of the legal target zone, yep. wasn't it? Right on the back of the knee. Wide shots from Quay Hagen in the pocket. That, again, was a good leg kick down to the calf. Yeah. He can start taking its toll. Later and there in the we fight. see a meditative stance almost in the corner from Quay Hagen. His brother giving him some further instructions. Bass, if you were in the corner of Quay Hagen, what are you telling him? I would tell him to do exactly what you just did in, in this last <laughs> round. I mean, he did great. He's coming forward. It seems like he's finding the, the timing from his opponent. You know, he wins the exchanges when they brawl. He cannot stay on the outside, because that's where Gustavo is the best. Well, let's see if Quay Hagen can turn this into a little bit more of a brawl. Force Gustavo to come forward, get stuck in that pocket and throw hell for leather. Another three minutes on the clock as we again. enter round number four here. And Gustavo switching stance now. So those kicks might do damage. Have yeah, done. He, he's, he's played with this uh, southpaw stance a few times already in this bout. Back to orthodox there. Oh, and now the other leg attacks, gets attacked. Roy Hagen again, setting himself in the middle of the pit. We're going to pour with that outside lead hand, and there it is. Gets stuck in as soon as the range closes. Throwing with intention. Oh, a back fist from Gustavo. Almost thrown like a back fist jab. Nice. Oops, stepping to the side. There's been so much action already, and we're still only a little way over halfway through Ooh, this nice bout. Again. Yeah, he's finding his range now. Quay Hagen is doing a really great job, and I do believe that those calf kicks were hurting him because he's switching 
constantly to uh, southpaw now. And Bass, the, the complexion does change when you have that extra full six minutes to settle in. As you say, find your tempo, find your range, build more of a game plan. Yep, exactly. And those short exchanges, pretty much every time go to Koyega. Yeah, G Gustavo's really not throwing that jab that was so effective for him in the first couple of rounds. Tries a, a straight oh, rear hand. Oh, left hook, beautiful. And he does catch Quayhagen yeah. a little bit, but we know the Americans just going to keep swinging and coming forward until there's nothing left. The Gustavo looks, and I'm, again, oh. I'm saying it, he feels that lag, I'm telling you. Definitely some fatigue. Something's going on. Certainly seems like the momentum is shifting in this fourth round here. Gustavo just a little bit slower now. He's not bouncing, he's not changing range as much. His hands are very low. And Quayhagen swinging. One of those lands, Gustavo is going to be in trouble. Nice front kick from that position after throwing hooks. You don't see that a lot. No, and that's it. Because he's got Gustavo backed up against the wall, there's not really anywhere, at least straight back, for Gustavo to go. And this is all about heart now. Yep. The last 20 seconds of this round and the, the next three that are coming, all about the heart. Quay Hagen marching Gustavo down. I don't think Diniso Gustavo has barely thrown five or, or ten punches in this round, at least not any of substance. Wow. Knocks him back. I'd love to see him use that position. And a good round again for Josh Quay Hagen, Bass. Yes, it's two to two, I would say now, in my book. I don't think that anybody can cleanly say that one is ahead of the other here. I think it's very much all to play for. This is all about the last round. Absolutely. Let's take a look at some of the replays here and that was an excellent wow. kick from Gustavo early on but you know Quay Hagen throwing back in the pocket again yep right body left Duke beautiful it did seem though towards the end of that round that the fatigue started to set in a little bit again a, a very composed Josh Quay Hagen in the corner Bass, what do you think about uh, Quay Hagen really turning the tables and starting to get back into this fight, shifting that momentum? Yeah, that's his style. You know that. You know you have to put him away because if you don't, you know he starts recouping. He's got so much heart that he just keeps coming forward. And now in round number three, he started connecting. Did the same thing in round number four. You can believe, better believe it. He's going to do it again. Yeah, it's probably fair to say he, he doesn't really come out and win fights in round one, does he? He very no. much weathers the storm. And we're seeing that again here as... Our welterweight champion Joshua Quayhagen will eat a stiff jab from Gustavo there again. That was, it was a good strike for him early in the fight. I'm glad he's getting back to it now. Nice high kick. Look at that. Yeah, caught him on the toes. Beautiful. Again, swinging goes to the body, mixing up those target areas nicely. He's going to take some more motivation from that. Again to the calf. Again, going high, trying to come up over that guard. That was probably the reason he connected, because uh, he, Gustavo might have thought it was going to be another calf kick. Yeah, and Gustavo does continually drop his hands down. Tries to bring them back up as soon as the exchange starts. Quite Hagen, by contrast, keeping that guard up most of the time. Shot to the body, lands yeah, the left I in the exchange. It. Starting with body shot, wrapping it up to the head. And the other way around, he does it as well. Those three hooks to the head and suddenly straight to the body. Very yeah. smart. Yeah, when you want to talk volume of shots across this fight, it's very much going the way of the American. There we go again, body head. Constantly mixing it up. If he would wrap it up with a kick, that would be picture perfect. Yeah, because we've seen the high kick can get there, the low kick can get there. Just needs to chain it all together now. We've got about half of this final fifth round. And Gustavo oh. sits down. Oh, did he get kicked in the head? Did it he? almost looked like my eggs in the knee. Well, I mean, here's the interesting thing. That position, you're not considered a downed opponent. You can get fully kicked in the head from that position while you're, you're backed up and down against the wall. Wow. Quay Hagen getting stuck in again, forcing Gustavo into this brawl. One minute left on the clock here in our title fight. 
That was a good shot from Gustavo over the top, oh. but he eats three or four on the return. <laughs> Anything you could do, I could do better. That's why that song is in his head right now. I don't think we can fault <laughs> either of these two gentlemen for leaving everything in there. Good stomp kick off that. Gustavo oh, backed boy. up. Oh, and he is, he's capitulating here. Wow. One-handed ground and pound from Quay Hagen. And you know, there's 24 seconds left. Let's just see him push forward again. Josh Quay Hagen really might have pulled this one out and oh, turned man. it around. You see, that's what champions do. They get hurt and then they flip it around. Digging deep. Josh Quayhagen, Denise Gustavo throwing in the pocket for the final few seconds. High kick to wow. end. <laughs> and we are through five three minute rounds for this title fight. Wow. And both men raise their hands up. Neither quite sure what to make of it. Let's take a look at some of the replays Boop. here. And Denise started that round fantastically with those two shots, but Quayhagen, a beautiful kick, just, right on the just on the toes. Boom. The left hook there behind the ear. And again, Josh Quayhagen, most of the story of the last three rounds with these flurries. Getting on the inside, work the body, work the head. And he tried a jump kick, but it, it accidentally... It was the shoulder. Yeah, hit yep. the shoulder. To the thigh, I think. And again, you saw the fatigue really setting into Gustavo. That was a nice little that push kick. That was really nice from Gustavo yeah, there. nice little push kick off the wall. This was like the sledgehammer coming <laughs> down. Oh, let's go down to the pit for our official decision. Is it going to be the champ, Josh Coyhagen, retaining his belt or the challenger, Denisio Gustavo? Yep. And just as we thought, Bass, I feel if we, you and I saw the scorecards right now, it would probably be three rounds to two to Josh Coyhagen. Exactly, the last three rounds he took that. The first two went to Denisio Gustavo. Well, we've seen that he's got the heart to get stuck in there and keep going. It is a champion's heart. And the champion is down in the pit with our broadcast partner, Leila Annali. Hello. Prior to this fight, you told me about how you thrive through adversity, how much you like pressure and endurance, and you went through quite a journey today. Yeah, it started right from the beginning. I think the first punch you cut me. That sucker's so good. Um, I'm so impressed to be, so honored to be in the battle, in the cage with him, in the pit. So I'm so thankful for him. But yeah, that was the plan. Uh, no matter what, just keep going. Follow us, fails. We'll do just that. First, let me go real quick. I'm so thankful and hopeful because I got God on my side. And there's so many of us, I just got to share. I know we're going through a rough time, rough year. If you got so much going on, you don't know what to do. You're putting your hope in your relationships, everything. Man, you're just going to fall up short and you're going to be depressed. Put your hope in something outside this world. Love God. Seek him out. And man, you'll find so much peace in everything. Win or lose, belt or no belt, championship, no championship, relationship, no relationship. God first. Now I'm done preaching. Let's talk about karate. Go ahead. Later. You were rocked early on. I appreciate that. You were rocked early on in the fight. We saw you quite wobbled. Walk, you, walk me through your mindset then, because you must have seen your opponent fill with confidence. So yeah, he's good. He's fast. You know, you know to be honest, I, that was the planning. You know, you want everything to go right. You plan for things to go right. But I spent a lot of time planning for shit to go, stuff to go wrong. Um, and so uh, when it did happen, I felt right at home. We talked about the hurricane training camp, everything that has happened, adversity really builds us. And you know, to be honest, better than a first round knockout, overcoming some adversity and winning versus a warrior like that is, is more fun and more impressive and hopeful for me, so. I want Elijah to join us now, your brother, oh, Coach oh, Corneman. Um, I found very impressive after the first round when he was really quite rocked. You turn to him and say, wow, we didn't expect that. He's a great opponent. This is what you want, isn't it? And you flipped it into a positive. Yeah, that's all. That's, it's always a positive. Anytime we can face something unexpected and come out stronger, and that's, that's, that's all we can ask for. You fought him a year ago. We saw a very different version of Gustavo today. A couple of words on your opponent. Um, he's amazing. I knew he'd get better. I knew he wouldn't stop. Um, I wanted to finish him. I wanted to break him and turn it on. And he's just, you know, unbreakable for now. So I'm super impressed. He went the whole five rounds. Um, and he was everything that I thought he'd be, he'd be better. Props to Gustavo. Give me some 
aqui, ó. Gustavo? Gustavo. Pode vir, por favor. Gustavo, if I can have a couple of words with you. Yep, <laughs> I'm off the clock, he says. Go rest your champion, Joshua Quay Hagen. I know you mustn't be feeling great right now, but your performance compared to a year ago is something you should be proud of. Que tu resultado como estuvo el año anterior es mucho mejor. Yo sé que no te sientes bien, pero debes estar orgulloso de tu performance. Gracias. Gracias. Lo haré mejor. Yo siempre me levanto, me levanto más fuerte. You um you were very impressive in the first few rounds. Walk me through how you felt towards the end there. Los primeros tres rounds estuviste impresionante. ¿Qué pensaste? ¿Qué sentiste? Me hizo una técnica, no la puedo decir, porque después la siguen haciendo. Pero con esa técnica me debilitó, porque los karatecas no estamos acostumbrados a ese tipo de técnica que no están haciendo. Um... I felt some techniques I, I cannot say because they will use, but I have to get used to, to get hit because normal karateka don't get used to, to that technique. Absolutely understood. Very, thank you very, very much. We did see the best performance from you we've seen so far. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Now it's back to you, Josh. So some fine words from our challenger, Denise Gustavo. Let's take a look back at the story of this title fight. Bass, talk us through this. Okay, big punches here from Joshua Quehe coming. And Gustavo took advantage of that and suddenly landing that short hook that sent him down. And these, the, these I, first two rounds, Bass, were all Denise Gustavo. All of them, but I think the leg kicks start adding up because suddenly Gustavo starts switching his stance the whole time. And then he got kicked, if he switched back to orthodox, he got kicked one time, again to southpaw. Beautiful high kick there, high on the temple, right away into a side kick, a Yoko gear for the people at home. And it's just keep rolling, body, body, he's throwing to the head, he's all over the place. Man, what a champion. And a, a very, very happy Josh Coy Hagen, as you can see, he celebrates there. Dejected Genicio Gustavo in the corner. Commiserations to him, but it is our champion, Josh Cahagan, who is going to retain the belt here. And Bass, I've got to point out, when he said that fight for him is better than a first round KO, that tells you something, doesn't it? It does, you know, and it says something about that person indeed, as you mentioned, but also it's really great to know that you can overcome adversity like that and then still win the fight. Yeah, Good for your next fight. It sends a message to his future opponents, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, finish me, otherwise you're going to be still in trouble. Well, that is it for that title fight tonight. Our champion, Josh Coy Hagen, stays with the golden belt at 75 kilos.